what is up guys welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to show you how you can create canva designs and upload them to your google drive using make.com let's get started on my google drive i've uploaded this image of a shocked man so let us preview it i'd like to create a youtuber thumbnail from this image using canva through the automation that i'm going to create on make the first app that we're going to search we're going to search Google Drive and on Google Drive, we're going to watch files in a folder. On Google Drive, I'll select the folder that I would like to watch. So our folder is called files. So here I'll choose files as our folder and then we can limit to one since we're sourcing only one image. For the files to watch, we're going to choose all and then click on OK. So when we run this module, You can see that we're getting our image right here. So this is our file ID and this is the name of our picture right here. Now with our picture, I'm going to search for Canva and then on Canva, I'm going to create a design. For the folder ID, I'll choose the home. And then for the assets, you can choose one of the assets over here. So these are all assets I have uploaded on my Canva. On our asset ID, you will have to upload some assets on your Canva. So you can pick any of the assets on your Canva. So for example, yeah, I'll choose one of my assets over here. You can choose a shocked woman or a shocked man. It's going to be our title over here. And then to choose a design type, you can either choose a preset or a custom type. For a custom type, you're customizing the width and height of your image. And for a preset, you can either choose a Canva doc, a whiteboard, or a presentation. In my case, I'll choose presentation and then click on OK. After creating a design here, I'll export it. So I'll search for Canva and then scroll down below and see the exported design for the type. And then for the folder ID, I'll choose our folder, which is a home folder. For the design ID, I'll choose to map it to and then add our ID over here. And then the type I'll choose to, to export it as a PDF file. I will want it to have an A4 page size. For the pages, you can leave it as empty and then click on OK. Let us run automation save. We are going to create and export our image. So to do that, I'll click on run. You can see we sourced our image right here. We created it and gave it to the, our title. But we also selected an asset from one of our assets over here and then downloaded it. And this is the image that we just created over here. Now to view our image, we'll have to upload it on Google Drive. So I'll search for Google Drive and click on upload a file. Here, I'll choose to select from the list. For folder location, I'll choose file. And then for the name, I'm gonna give it our name over here. And the data, I'll add our image over here. And then click on OK. Let us run automation, see if we're going to upload our file into our Google Drive. To create a design, export it and upload it, we're going to run automation. Automation ran successfully. We created a design, exported it, and uploaded it to our Google Drive. Now, when we go back to our Google Drive, you can see we have a new image that we created on Canva on our Google Drive. Let us preview the image. So this is an amazing image that we can use as a thumbnail for one of our YouTube videos. And we created this image just by setting up this simple automation on make.com. After creating our design and uploading it to our Google Drive folder, we can choose to upload this image to Slack channel or to send it as an email. So here you can add another module. You can search for Slack over here. And we can upload the image to one of our channels. Now to do that, I'll click on upload a file. After creating a Slack connection on make.com, we can choose one of our channels that would like to upload our image. Can give it our name and then here we'll choose our image our title 
can give it our title over here and then click on OK. Instead of running the automation again, you can choose where to start and choose manually. Choose our image over here. Click on OK. To upload our image to our Slack channel, I'll just run automation. You can see that our automation ran successfully. Here, it got our image right here. And then it created our design. This is the title of our image. And we use this as our asset. And then here, we exported our image that we created over here. This is a image design. Then we uploaded it to our Google Drive folder, and then uploaded it to our Slack channel. Now let us preview our image on our Slack channel. When we go to our Slack channel, You'll see the image that we uploaded from automation over here right here if you like to download it just double tap it and the image will be downloaded on your computer so on automation here you'll be prompted to choose an asset id and then you can choose the type of design that you want you can choose the preset for the preset you can either choose a canva doc a whiteboard or a presentation one or you can choose a custom one where you can customize the width and height of your image but you'll have to choose asset ID to create your design. This is a simple automation that you can set up right now on make.com to create a Canva design and upload it to your Google Drive. If you have an automation or a system in mind that you'd like for me to create, just comment down below in the comment section. And if I land on it and I find it interesting, I'll come back on a future video showing you how to create the entire automation or system from scratch. But for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.